my name is Enkin Ing and you're watching the first episode of the Z-Weapons. Let the slaying of the undead begin. Today I will be reviewing a high powered bolt action rifle, the DSR-50. It is one of the two snipers available in the Black Ops 2 Zombies and can be acquired via mystery box, so its cost is 950 points, not counting the fire sale. The DSR-50 comes with 4 bullets in a single magazine and a total of 52 bullet ammo. The reload time is 2.2 seconds and if paired with speed cola, it decreases by 50% meaning the reload time then is only 1.1 seconds. The reload speed is fairly high but it still does not solve the sniper 4 bullet weakness as you will often find yourself in need of a reload. The DSR-50 is a bold action sniper rifle, meaning that the rate of fire can't really be measured, though buying double tap that will decrease the bolt pull time can result in faster shooting. Looking from the fact that we are talking about a sniper rifle, the DSR-50 deals a big amount of damage, killing all zombies with a single shot at wave 5 regardless of where the bullet hit. When Pekka punched, the DSR-50's name changes to the Dead Specimen Reactor 5000. It also receives a larger ammo size of 8 through 96, larger damage and a variable scope attachment. This finally solves its ammo problem and makes it more useful in large zombie waves. The damage increase also makes killing zombies look easy. The variable scope though is not a game changer because you will rarely find yourself scoping for a longer duration when playing zombies in general. The Death Specimen Reactor 5000 is also more effective at bigger range, meaning that you will less likely miss shots from a distance. The DSR-50 isn't the best choice for the early rounds because of its small magazine size. Also, it will kill in one shot leading to collecting fewer points as it will prevent the ability to farm them. I advise taking a submachine gun because you will be able to collect a lot of points necessary for buying the needed perks like Juggernaut. At later rounds though, the DSR-50 becomes a very strong and reliable ally because of its ammo saving capability. It can kill off massive zombie trains with just the pull of a trigger, saving lots of ammo in the process assuming that you already have it back punched. The DSR-50 is a bad gun to start with but Pekka punching it at a later round can make it into a terrific ammo preserver. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to join me next time when I will be reviewing a weapon that can be put in a pocket but can also finish the whole wave of zombies.